Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you how I usually like to pack our stuffs whenever we go for traveling. In my case guys, I have my two children who are also traveling with me and I want to show you how I want my things to be organized in our bags, especially that we are expecting quarantine at our destination. So sadya ko talagang ginawa itong video na ito guys para doon sa mga gustong matuto at gustong magkaroon ng idea kung ano ba yung mas magandang pag-iimpake ng mga gamit pag nagta-travel din kayo. So I hope you get something on this video even just a little bit to help you guys. Anyway, without further ado, let's start! Hi guys! Welcome to video! Please subscribe! Thank you! This is how I usually pack my shoes, guys. These are kusas and this is how I do it. So that they will be, you know, protected from scratches. And then we'll it like this. So see, here it is now. So I'm gonna keep doing them all. By the way, this is a cling film, and this is used for packing food, like this one's here. So. Or they call it cling wrap. So I'm gonna wrap this too. So our shoes are packed safely. So this is our final packing. By the way guys, these kusas are actually handmade and that is why you're just writing the size. For normal shoes, I like to pack them individually like this. This is my other kusa, the old one. For the joggers as well, I like to pack it separately. And for my children's shoes. Usually, I like to separate my shoes from my dresses because, you know, our shoes are dirty and it's not nice to pack them along with our uh, clean clothes. This one here is my humidifier. I'm going to take my humidifier with me. I also wrap it with cling wrap, guys, so that it would be protected. Now, baby, just go, go. You called, I let you in and for walls Kept our secrets hidden, eating for so forbidden Kept our secrets safe Cause the temptation, it felt like pure relation I gave you my attention, but now it's hard to mention I don't feel a spark when you say my name So that's it, and I might need to pack two more shoes uh, for Musa and Isa So just one for Musa, one for Isa I think it will fit here on here on the top, right? And we are set. We are three actually and we have a total of 90 kilos. 30 kilos for Musa, 30 kilos for Isa, and 30 kilos for me. Plus 7 kilos hand carry for each of us. Another thing guys, I also like to separate my beauty products from my clothes because they are liquid. Something like this, my perfumes my toners i cling wrap them so that there won't be any leak on the bag my small small items i like to separate them from my clothes because i don't want that whenever i need something later on i will be crazy searching for it these are my accessories for the hair and this one here are just um assorted things small small things and of course my makeup these are the ones that I'm using every time I want to put a makeup. I pack them separately. 
And these are the ones that I don't often use. These are just stocks. I have lashes here which are not used yet. I just like to keep them because I travel and sometimes the products that I want is not available in that country. That's why I always buy extra. And this one here are for cleaning my nails. This is a hard cover so that they are safe and they won't poke anything there. These are my shower gels and dentonic. I love dentonic, so this is only available in Pakistan. I don't know, maybe it's also available in Pakistani shops abroad. I'm not really sure, but I just want to make sure I have it because I really like it. It's really useful including the gums and the teeth. There is a hole. <laughs> But in this side here, I put my cotton buds, my beauty blender, makeup brushes, and a lot more. So I put them in one bag all together. So this is the big bag that I have, guys, which I only keep for all my clothes. For Musa and Isa and mine. And um, this is how I like to pack them. I pack all my hijabs separately. This is my hijabs, guys. I pack them separately. So that it's easy for me to uh, look for them. And this one here are the clothes that was... Uh, my husband forgot some of his clothes so I have to carry it with me. I packed it separately so that whenever I reach there, I'm just gonna give him, okay, this is your clothes. I don't need to search here, here, here and there. <laughs> right? I'm packing them because I already ironed them. You know, so I want to maintain that they don't get crumpled and that is why I pack them in this plastic. This is an OPP bag, which is especially for clothes. It's actually uh, kind of like, you know, you're gonna spend money for buying this plastic, right? But I mean like, this is not expensive, especially that we're buying here in Pakistan. So I think it's reasonable and at the same time, your mind is at peace that your clothes are well packed. See? This, they, they are actually ironed already. So that when I reach to the new destination, I am relaxed that okay, all my clothes are ironed. And whenever I want to wear them, I don't need to iron too much. And I also separate my face towels. For the pants, I just let them as it is. I just flip them nicely and just put it there. I don't pack them. And I also pack the small, small things like the underwear or something like that. I pack them separately so that it's easy for me to look for them. So, ito naman guys on the other side. Yan, these are Musa and Isa's clothes. And of course, these are my pandoob. And I pack them separately. And also my um, workout clothes. I pack separately so that, you know, it's easy for me to look for them. And of course, my leggings and Musa and Isa clothes here. So I need to pack Musa's Batman clothes and Spider-Man because then he will look for it. <laughs> so we're just gonna close it and we are set. This bag can actually carry about 30 kilos. 30 kilos is the limit in the plane. Maybe 30.5 or 31 will still be acceptable. But you know, just to be on the safe side, just keep it 30 kilos guys. Don't exceed. Because who knows? Maybe they will not allow the one kilo and then you will end up carrying everything on your hand. Which is gonna give you a hard time. I experience a lot because I travel a lot. So this is another bag. And this is a little bit smaller than the black one where I'm keeping all our clothes. And in this bag, I'm putting all my... These are my bags. These are my makeup. These are bulky actually. That's why I put them here. Hindi ko siya isinama doon sa pink bag guys. Kasi yung mga nilagay ko doon sa pink bag is yung mga uh, items lang, yung mga products lang na madalas kong gamitin. So this one, I only use this whenever I go to weddings. That's why I kept it here. And you know, we're gonna be staying in a hotel. I'm not really sure if we're going to have a quarantine. But whenever we have the quarantine, then at least I know exactly which bag to open for. Uh, the products that I often use daily, like my toners, yung mga cream ko, yung ganun. I also have this one, guys. This is very nice. This is a nebulizer. It's small. Maliit lang siya na nebulizer. But I always keep this because sometimes pag inuubo yung mga anak ko, lalo na si Isa, he sometimes have difficulties in breathing. That's why I especially bought this for him. And also even me, I also have the same problem sometimes. I'm gonna show you quick how it is. Yeah, this is... 
Ganito lang siya kaliit. You just need to open this. Just put the medicine there. Close it. And then when you click this one, the mist will come out. Which is the medicine. So it's very nice, very clean. It also has uh, these things here. Yeah, you can also use this. You can just plug it there. Put it here if you want to put it in your mouth. Yeah, you want to inhale it through your mouth. I also have medicines here. I also have these things. If you want, the, you want to inhale in a mask. So you just need to plug it like that and inhale inside like this. Right? So this is very useful guys and I bought this from my best friend Shuni. She actually have a uh, Shopee shop. Yeah, she have a Shopee guys. And if you want to buy something like this, I'm going to put her shop link in the description box of this video, okay? So that if you guys are interested to buy something like this, because if you find it useful for you, then you can contact her or you can check on her Shopee, inshallah. It has a cup like this and you can cover it when you're not using. So this has two masks. One is for adults and one is for small children. And this is chargeable, guys. This is the charger for that. We are going to put this, this, this. So my bag is also here. Uh, most of water bottle, my extra cotton pads. These are the things that I have. I also have Asus medicine there. You know, if you're going to pack this together with the clothes, it's gonna be a mess up. And then meron akong books. So I packed them separately from my uh, clothes, guys. And in this side naman, guys, these are my materials for making my tassel earrings. Yeah, these are the things that I have. Some of it I already sent with my husband. That's why I wasn't able to make new earrings while I'm here. Uh, since he left. But I still have a lot more to carry, guys, with me. I don't know if they're gonna allow me to carry this in the airport. I hope they will because these are just beads and these are metal beads. Yan yung mga pendant ko. Magaganda siya guys. These are nice quality, the one that I have because I have a supplier which they're sending this to me. Something like that. These are my nail polish. I'm gonna show you. Uh, I actually have, so some of you guys know that I have a Lazada shop and I am also selling nail decals. It's like a water transfer kind of stickers. So I'm going to show you how to apply that. It's kind of like a water transfer nail art. And uh, yeah, maybe whenever I'm in Qatar and I'm relaxed, then I will have the time to do the, the vlog para dun sa nail art, guys. But, you know, it's very easy. I'm going to show you that, inshallah. Ito yung sinulid, which I am using for making the tassels. So these are just threads. Yun. Ito yung tools ko, gunting and pliers. Or scissor, pliers, yon glue. A lot of stuff here. So these are just my materials in making my toe rings and yung mga earrings ko guys na pinakita ko sa inyo last time. Yon. I have also the mat of Muta here. My laptop bag which uh, wala namang laptop ito kaya ilalagay ko lang dyan. Mga ano lang to, mga medical report ni Isa and then my notebooks. So, I usually, you know, keep notebooks with me because I like to write something whenever I have a plan in mind. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to close this and we are set.